Okay. Welcome. This is the business career energy vibration reading um, for the year 2020. I want to say thank you for being here. Thank you for being back. Thank you for the wonderful um, support in my channel. If this is the first time, please like, share and subscribe in and you will be um, notified as the monthly reading goes up. Okay. This channel is for um, business people, high professional business people. Um, if you are basically in business, um, this is where to go to see what's is going to be happening and transpire if you're about to start your business this is where to be to know what is going to be coming up for you if you're about to start a business this is a channel to be because there's a whole lot of information that people are not aware of before they start doing their business and this is why we have this business channel because um as the time changes a lot of people are going to be start doing their business what i see is that a lot of you aquarians are having emotional issues in this year thinking about starting your business but it's as if you have a block so we're going to be looking at why is the block here and why are you having a block whether or not you should start whether or not you should go forward whether or not you should be doing this um like in sideways to find out what is better i see if you do go in business um it can be good but there, it's going to take a lot of work and especially you men, you men, um, it's going to take a lot of work, you businessmen, because I see you businessmen want to, um, to, to get your business, to expand your business. And whether or not, because it's as if you're, you, you, you businessmen have been carrying some burdens. Okay. So first, let's look and see what you're coming in with in this year. So in the month of January, there is the 10 of pentacles in reverse. And that is meaning that the money that you expected to make up from your business in 2019 was not what came in. Okay. So in February, you have some disappointments looking at the cipher scene that you didn't make a lot what you wanted. In March, you know, you're like, I need to put down this burden. I need to find better people to work with i need to find the right um people to partner up with or if, if it's if it's at work it's as if you want to find the right people to really um put on a project because you have been working so much so some of you might go and be looking for new people okay so that can happen in the first quarter of the year as we look at the, sex qu the, the second quarter, I see in the month of April, the Wheel of Fortune. So this could be that you're returning, you're receiving tax return. This tax return I see in May, you're going to be using this uh, to, to um, expand your business. But it's as if you're holding on on it and you're thinking of ways how to expand your business and how to go um, expand, but not paying so much. So... It's as if you're still in the planning phase of how you're going to be making this new start. I see some of, some of you, um, you have the potential to bring out what it is that you want in your business. And I see you might be looking for other people to network, connect with, okay? I see some of you on the work floor is dealing with um, someone who you have known in past lifetime from the... Um, the Greek or the Roman times because they're coming up. I see some of you are having issues on the work floor with people from the Greek and Roman time that is coming in that you're um, placing some emphasis on that you're not really getting along on the work floor, okay? As we look at the third and last period, which is in the month of October, you have a little burnout. It's like a little burnout, but it could be that some of you are dealing with a young person on the work floor and you need to make a decision about this person because this person is not really um, performing how you would expect them to perform. So I see you making a decision October, November, okay? Uh, um, definitely, um, November, I see that some of you are definitely going to be making a decision 
um, to open up your business or to expand your business or to look for new people to come in and work because I see you looking for a new work location in the month of November you men 45 years and older um, as we look here we see that some of you are dealing with a young a young Pisces cancer or a scorpion and this person is blocked okay this person I see whatever the issue the situation is I see that this person have block um, uh, 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 there is a block against this person um you could be refusing to deal with this person i see you're blocking this person this person is being blocked whoever this young pisces cancer or scorpion is i see that this person is blocked so let's go in and see what is coming up so again the energy of the star if you notice the energy of the star is coming in these two months okay what i'm gonna do is just um let you guys see exactly what is coming up because i am seeing a lot of networking because i see some of you um could be connected with people on the work floor where you need to leave this uh, you really want to leave this relationship and move forward because it's just not working out between you and this person and here i see you're going to be received some news in december that someone at your work that is a Pisces cancer scorpion will be moved away definitely being moved away whatever that has happened and transpired I see this person being moved away all right so this is good basically because uh, there is just a lot that is going to be coming up I see you guys overcoming a situation that has been playing out and this is a very good because I see money is going to be coming in. I see you're going to be finding out ways and mean. I see an offer is going to be coming in. But we're going to be looking at this block because this block was placed here. But I see you guys will overcome this block. It's as if you were dealing with this woman, whoever this woman is and whatever the situation is, is that you were definitely dealing with this person and someone tried to block you or create issues for you okay they try to block you or create issues for you so i see that you know some of you have regrets dealing with a young aries leo or sagittarius at your work whoever this person is and whatever is to inspire i see that you really have um really a sense of uh, um, dealing with this person was not an idea now some of you could have the energy of uh, an Aries Leo or Sagittarius now that is someone who has passion and moving forward some of you um, could be dealing with this person and this person has created a couple issues for you and this person is now definitely going to be removed out of so this could be a business partner for some of you that you are dealing with a business partner and this person was an Aries Leo or Sagittarius whoever this business partner with this is someone that you have known in the Golgrier and the Roman time or the Greek time that you come back to work out issues with and this is what I say to a lot of people you meet a lot of people in business because the business has to do with um, these sort of a people that comes in your life to make certain issues and situations okay so let's look at this and understand what is happening in the month of January in the month of January I see you're receiving good news so this good news could be if you're looking for a new job it's going to be happening I see that some of you are um, you know going over contracts and that sort of a thing and it, whatever you ask for they're going to be saying yes okay whatever you ask for they're going to be saying yes now if this is your own business I see positive alignment of energies i see money is definitely go going to be coming in i see an investor could be coming in for you if you are looking for an investor definitely this investor is going to be coming in because you can see the energy of uh, it's a yes it's all around a yes so if you were uh, you know hoping for an investor or someone to connect with it is going to be a yes in the month of january as we look at February, I see you had some regrets for some of you could have been having maybe working with a family member and 
uh, or a young person who you thought had the skill to get your business moving, which it did not. So I see you here having some regrets, um, having this young person on your team. Now, whoever this young person is, it could be a Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn, but I see you having some regret because you had eye hopes for this person. But in February, there's a lot of regrets that you did not make the amount of um, money that you wanted. You know, your, um, your, your profit wasn't as good as you had wanted it because you could have had family, um, um, this family business and, you know, it, 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 it has too much things going on. So that was why in February, as we look at March, what we're seeing here coming in, in March, which is um, so very beautiful is that the energy of the Empress is here. So I see the potential, your burdens is going to be over. Okay. So whatever that was transpiring between you, uh, people on the work floor, your business partner, I see this is over and you're moving forward. Some of you could be finding out that unexpectedly you are going to get, be getting a raise of pay or something like that. But I also see that if you women are deciding to partner up with your partner to do business, I see this going forward and this is going to be working out. And I see some of your burdens is going to be released because the potential of you moving forward in your work and career is definitely here and you are definitely going to be moving forward. So there is no problem um, that is going to be blocking you in the month of March. Um, April, as we look at April, what we're seeing here in, in, in April um, is that you're overcoming a situation that you were dealing with this could have been a cancer, okay? You're overcoming a situation that you are dealing with a cancer and you're moving forward now. So this could be a cancer that some of you were dealing with on the work floor and it could be someone who you have connected with on the work floor. It could be a business partner who you have connected on the work floor. But I see this, this contract between you and this person is ending. And you are going to be financial um, stable because it's as if they could be selling out their part of the business to you. And, and, and with that, this person is moving away. So you're going to have full proportion of your business. It could be someone who was just trying to, um, you know, in strive in, 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 in like in strive with you and your business. And I see that they're going to be, like um they were trying to overdo a situation and i see that it's not going to be working anymore so i see you're letting go of this whatever is transpiring but i see your financial stability in your business your business is kind of going to be balancing out which is good as we look at april at may may is wonderful because i see that the 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 wheel of fortune is here so it is a yes to go and do any new business in may for you it is going to be good okay so whatever is transpiring in may business is going to be good if you're going to be asking for help from institutes or organization or you're going to be taking on people um to release your burden business is going to be good what i'm